Hey, so I'm Peter Lines from Math Industry, and we are going to take a look at circle? Wait, why are we learning about circles if a lot about this video is about triangles? Well, the thing about with circle is if you see a circle in geometry, sort of like this one, it will give you a big understanding of what your next proof might be, or what your might your next step might be towards a proof when you're proving a proof. So talking about circles, we're gonna do some review on the different parts of a circle that you will need to know and then understand that the circle has basically its own theorem to it. However, it doesn't have a name for it because the sentence literally describes the circle. So let's review on what circles are. We understand from our elementary school knowledge that a circle has no sides and it's equal. So basically, you can't see any visible visible sides on the circle. Once you reach toward middle school, you can understand that a circle has two different formulas. One of them is the formula for finding the area, and the other one is finding the formula for the circumference, or the perimeter of the circle. We can understand in middle school if you put a dot in the middle of the circle, and if you have a line that goes to the middle to the edge of a circle, that edge is going to be called the radius. Here's an example of the radius where a line will point from the middle of the circle, then go to a certain point at the edge of the circle. So that is an example of the radius. But if you want to think double, or if you want to think more, then a line stretching from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle, we're going to color that line in green. And we can say that the line from here to there, or that stretches at both ends of the circle, is called the diameter. You can realize that the diameter is two times equal to the radius. So if you have two radiuses, you get a diameter. It stretches from two parts of the circle. Here's an example of the diameter. So after you complete middle school, you go into junior high school, which is 7th and 8th grade. Now you start learning about the formulas, because now you understand the different parts of the circle. What did we forget? Oh, we forgot that the perimeter of the circle is called the circumference. So, if you measure from here around there, and you want to measure how long the circle is surrounding it, it's called the circumference. So, in 7th and 8th grade, to find the area, the formula is pi r squared. So, 3.14, multiply that by the radius two times. The circumference is going to be pi times the diameter. So to measure this outer thing right here, you will have to do 3.14 times the measurement of the diameter. 
So those are the basics of a circle, and those are the known parts of a circle that you'll need to know when you enter high school. So with high school, we're gonna talk about how circles can apply geometry and how they can give us multiple ways and different more thoughts of what your next proof might be or what your next step might be. Here's an example. Given if circle P right here, because the middle of the circle is called circle P, we gotta prove that AB right here is congruent or the same to CD. But how can we do that? Well, there is a theorem that we're gonna check it out on. The theorem is, all radii of a circle are congruent. A set of points that is equidistant from the center point of a circle. So what the theorem is literally saying is, let's say we draw our uh, circle again. Who can draw a perfect circle? Type in the comments below if you think you can draw a perfect circle. Okay, so here is our circle. The theorem states that a set of points that is equidistant from the center point of a circle. So basically, we're gonna have points right here. We're gonna put a point right here. We're gonna put a point right here, right here, and right here. What the theorem is stating when it says all radii of a circle are congruent, we said earlier in the video that a line stretching from the middle of the circle all the way to a side of the circle, or the edge of a circle, is called the radius. Assume it's going to be 6 centimeters for good measurement and to understand it more. From the video of where the, the green boss in Super Mario Odyssey was using the radius to go around in a circle, we can do that with the math part too. So even though you can move your radius, we can move it here, 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 or anywhere, and it would still be 6 centimeters each. That would be 6 centimeters, here to here would be 6, here to here would be 6. So you can actually rotate and move the radius to different parts in a circle and still be the same length from the middle. <laughs> so that is what the theorem is really saying. All sets that are on the circle and you use the radius will have congruent distances from the middle. So from here to there will be congruent to here to there to there. It makes a lot of sense now. So let's start solving this proof and see where we can get at it. 